Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer on my quest for England and Englishness. And today I have come into the library of Liz Housden's house. Hello, Liz. Hello, Richard. Viewers will remember if they've been watching before that uh, you're a, an actress. I an, am. Yes. An authoress. Yes. And all round good sport. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Jolly good. <laughs> now, you suggested to me, because I'm looking for England and Englishness, that um, you have a, a library of children's books. Yes, I do. And you were brought up reading as uh, many children, I think, of a certain period mm. prior to screens and television and, and all of that, you know, had not that competition that kids have today no. with everything that's whizzy and flashy. And pr given to them pretty uh, well, and, um, yeah. actually. And told to go and stick yes. your nose in it. And, yes. <laughs> <you know. laughs> yes. Uh, now, it's interesting because before we were filming, you were telling me um, about your mother. Yes. And, and you know, you write and your mother used to write yes. and you showed me something rather special. I did, yes, yes. She, uh, when I was um, about one and a half, I think it was. Uh, um, she was she was very ill. She had tuberculosis and they took her away and collapsed one of her lungs. And for a year, I went away and lived with my aunt when I was only one and a half, as I said, came back a year later. And while I was away, and because she was confined to bed, she wrote and illustrated a book for her little girl. And How I lovely. still have that, yes, yes. And the thing is, it's exquisite. Mm. I mean, it really is exquisite. And it, you know, you look at that, it's so magical. I, you know, I can imagine trying to do something that for my ch child, I can't draw for Toffee. <laughs> and my writing is, you know, a bit dubious. Yeah, it's but good it's, writing. It's, um, it's amazingly beautiful. It is, I think so, yes. Where I'm very. She never published it or did anything more with it? No, she was a, a professional artist. I mean, she actually was went to the Slade, and as I told you, it, my, her father was a very enlightened man for right. a Victorian and thought his daughters should be educated as well. As his son, as his sons were, but also to do what they wanted to do. Uh, my mother wanted to be an artist, and she was very good, very, very good. And we have a lot of her paintings in the house. You've seen some of those, yes. and um, one of them illustrates one of my covers of one of my books. So, it's, uh, so right from an early age, you're, you know, you've got a, a, a literary mother, yes, and an artistic mother, yes, and you're being inspired to read. Yes. And of course, back then, television's fairly inf in its infancy. Mm. Uh, you've got the wireless. Yes. Of course, like... Yes. Um, Listen with Mother. Listen with Mother, you know. <laughs> um, and so, but reading is a, a, a great escapism, as, yes. it, as it is for a lot of people, even today, of course, a lot of grown-ups yes. yeah. um, who move away from the computers and things. But at that time when being a child, so I'm a child of the 60s and and 70s is you know the late 60s is i suppose when i'm sort of getting into reading and yes. and, and that sort of thing i left school at 15 in 79 so people can work it all out um <laughs> and i remember things reading things like jennings yes bobby brewster some eni blyton um <laughs> some of the classics like wind in the willows yeah uh, the hobbit mm -hmm. um and that sort of thing now i'm a boy obviously gravitated to boys books you're a, a a lady i am yes and um i and behind here you've got some amazing books and what's fascinating is a a lot of them are very new to me but the covers you know mm. the 1960s 1950s and earlier the illustrations and the language yes. in those in those oh, books yes, very much so. of its yes. time and and that's where the Englishness comes in, that, mm. that quintessential children having amazing adventures, um, which... Set in England. Set too. in I England. Mean, actually, I mean, gen literally England. I mean, yes. I, I think one or two of them <laughs> move into Scotland briefly, but, but that was it. I mean, yes. I mean literally uh, in England. But, but on your show... tend to be more, more about children yes doing ordinary things and so you've got books about ponies them. yes you know yes, yeah. uh ballet yeah theater yes all yes. your interests yes very course. much so yeah yeah um and and one of the things that really 
comes home to me looking at your collection of of books from that sort of period is the prolificness mm. of the authors oh yes that in that time you you know if you found your niche you could sit at your typewriter and bash them out <laughs> <laughs> that probably yeah, sounds yeah. a bit derogatory, de derogatory but yeah. um it it's not though because i think when kids read you know they like an author or they like the characters and they want more adventures and more and more. And you didn't have, as we said before, you haven't got the television as a competition. So to keep you in that world of fun. And, and yes, also I think it was a, a middle class thing, don't you? Yeah, because they yes. had time to, to sit there and bash at a typewriter yes. because somebody else would be doing the housework and and, um, and wives didn't go out to work. I mean, they had a nice husband who came and, and you know, and you had yes. maid servants and whatnot. Is that and reflected it, it, in the books, in the stories? The maids well, and yes the, yes they are yeah because mm. i know that uh, eni blyton uh, had a lot of that mm -hmm. and and kids reading them today and i know that kids read eni blyton today because at the school where i've been a patron of reading they've got them but somebody else said oh but on the modern versions they cut out all the maids yes, and all yes. of that because it's obviously kids can't relate to it no um but of course as i told you i can't relate to eni blyton at all no. <laughs> So what were you? What were what were you, Liz Housden, reading in your former years? Right. Well, I started off. Years. Yes, um, I started off with uh, like Little Grey Rabbit and, of course, Beatrix Potter. Yes. Um, I didn't read the Thomas the Tank Engine books because they were they weren't bought for me because I wasn't right. a, a boy. Although no. as I said, went on to read Jennings, which I did like, which were boys' book, which you read yourself. Yes. You said. Yes. Um, and but I would. Yes, so I'd, re I'd read um, and Winnie the Pooh and all those sorts of it's children's true. classics. Class yes. Um, were they considered classics back then? No, they were just so considered just... to be very suitable for yes. Um, yes. young middle class Because yes, you mentioned children. Thomas the Tank <laughs> Engine and, and people might remember the TV series. My kids mm. grew up watching endless Thomas the Tank en Engine yes. videos. But of course, before... And we were aware that they were books, but they were much earlier written they were yes yes, yes. so you've got here uh, an author Lorna Hill yes so tell me about her Lorna Hill uh, again a very prolific writer um, she uh, wrote about three or four different series of books so that there was one as you said set in the world of um, Sadler's Wells Ballet there would be pony books there would be a group of children who um, who went to pony club camps and things like that and in some cases the characters actually changed books if you see what i mean oh, right. so, so some of the people who um, yes um one of the boys who was a you know um a hero of one of the the, the pony books yes. actually married one of the ballet dancers later on in the series if you see what i mean of course uh, growing up on the isle of Wight, as i did um this this book was introduced to me by my my aunt my mother's younger sister who was again a, a wonderful uh, 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 reader and loved it herself. Who, who were they by? Uh, Aubrey de Selincourt and Aubrey de Selincourt lived on the island and um, although actually I think we realised it when we read it because you could recognise the, the, the bits in the book that were set on the island you knew exactly where yes. he was talking about although he didn't name them. Right. And, how um, thrilling, how thrilling for, to, you know, yeah. to, to recognise and go oh that's the pepper pot or that's yes, the such and such. Yes exactly so yeah. and, um, and so they were very much at my books, our yes. books if yes. I can follow because they, they belong to um, us children on the island although they were written uh, oh some 10 15 years before I was born actually right. but um, it there were five of those and uh, books and um, yes no they, they were fun they're all about sailing yes and uh, sailing on the Solent and, and um, because it's the Isle of Wight you know and it's a smallish island sailing is very yes. much uh, the thing isn't yes it? and I sailed and so did my friends yes. and yes. all the rest of it and uh, and the sea is so close to you on yes, the island and, and you can't go anywhere without really without Almost seeing, seeing it, it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. and and so they were they were very special um i've they're lovely books yes. liz it's been fantastic i don't know how much englishness we've managed to get out of that i think it's um that the, the books are about england and they're of that time and that period and they are what 98 percent of them written by english authors yes, yes i think yes. i've got uh, a handful of American children's books. Absolutely. Yeah. And, 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 and the magical things. Do leave a comment. Tell us about the books that you grew up with. What 
titles, what books made a big difference to you. It'd be fascinating to, mm, to be read those. Yeah. Um, thank you, Liz, for letting me come down into your <laughs> private library and well, uh, have a little mooch around. Great fun to have you, Richard. My pleasure. Don't forget to follow, like and subscribe, become a patron, all the usual stuff. Leave the comment, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you when I'm out and about on another one. Till next time, I'm going to fill up the car with some of your books. Oh, are you? <laughs> <laughs> bye bye for now. Goodbye. Bye bye.